wanted man in the world, the United States, and offering $25 million for his capture. That was because of his involvement, of course, in the 9-11 attacks, and we have him here claiming responsibility for those attacks. We calculated that the advance, the number of casualties from the enemy who would be killed based on the position of the tower. We calculated that the floors that would be hit would be three or four floors. I was the most optimistic of them all. Due to my experience in this field, I was thinking that the fire from the gas in the plane would melt the iron structure of the building and collapse the area where the plane hit and all the floors above it only. This is all that we had hoped for. Allah be praised. The difference between the first and the second plane hitting the towers was 20 minutes. And the difference between the first plane and the plane that hit the Pentagon was one hour. The Americans were terrified thinking there was a coup. Bin Laden claiming credit for the 9-11 attacks. We're standing by waiting for President Obama to make a statement uh, at the White House. And as you pointed out, Brian Ross, ever since 9-11, ever since the United States lost Osama bin Laden's trail in Tora Bora, there have been several attempts to get him, but no firm fix on where he was until this week. Not, not for a long time. People who joined the uh, Obama administration uh, were stunned to learn there really was no solid sighting of him, no solid evidence. They stepped up the efforts uh, in those mountains. They continued to believe that, in fact, he was in the mountain range uh, between Pakistan and Afghanistan, successfully eluding every effort by the U.S. to uh, track him down. He and his number two man, Ayman al-Zawari, had split up. They were in different areas. Zawari now inherits the role as the, the leader of of al-Qaeda, uh, which of course was founded really by, by bin Laden with the millions of dollars uh, that he inherited from his family wealth. And we're joined also by Pierre Thomas and Pierre at various times.